Introducing the NMC Horizon Report Europe 2014 Schools Edition. This report is a joint publication of European Commission's Dictorate General for Education and Culture, European Commission's Joint Research Center, Institute for Prospective Technological Studies, and the New Media Consortium. This report aims to help ministers, governing boards, and school leaders to strategically approach the further evolution of teaching, learning, and creative inquiry. The first section examines 18 topics selected by the Horizon Project Europe Expert Panel along three timelines, fast, mid-range, and long-range trends accelerating new educational technology adoption in European schools. Let's start with the fast trends, or one to two years to adoption. The growing ubiquity of social media in education is fueled by how often people use it in everyday life. The second fast trend, rethinking the role of teachers, is happening as schools make the shift to more student-centered learning, teachers have taken on a role that more resembles a coach. In three to five years, schools are increasing focus on open educational resources and the use of hybrid learning designs. Open educational resources are remixable, freely copyable, and free of barriers to access sharing and educational use, making them grow in use in classrooms, networks, and school communities. And hybrid learning designs blend the best of classroom instruction with web-based delivery, placing more emphasis on peer-to-peer -peer collaboration in school and online at home. Long-range trends are expected to be adopted in five or more years in European schools. As online learning continues to evolve, so does the content, more rich media, interactive features, and better defined objectives. The second long-range trend, the rise of data-driven learning and assessment, is revealing patterns in learning-related data that could improve learning for students and institutions. Next, the NMC Horizon Report Europe 2014 Schools Edition goes into detail of six challenges impeding educational technology adoption in European schools. Solvable challenges are those we understand and know how to solve, like integrating ICT in teacher education. The lack of adequate teacher education relating to digital learning is a challenge that's widely acknowledged throughout Europe, and solutions are available, which is one of the reasons that this challenge is perceived as solvable. The second solvable challenge is students' low digital competence. There is a continuing need to update digital competence programs to help students adapt to the current technological terrain. Difficult challenges, those we understand but for which solutions are elusive, include blending of formal and non-formal learning, which has been hampered by the lack of ways to acknowledge and qualify learning that happens beyond the classroom. The second difficult challenge is creating authentic learning opportunities, which brings real-life experiences into the classroom. Wicked challenges are those that are complex to define, must less address. Complex thinking and communication is essential for students to both understand the networked world they are growing up in and the difference between human and artificial intelligence. And students, as co-designers of learning, is the notion that students could be designers and architects of their learning environments. When students are given the tools and responsibility, they become more curious and engaged. Finally, the report dives into some important developments in educational technology for European schools on a range of adoption timelines. On the one year or less timeline, cloud computing and tablet computing are both playing an important part in schools because of convenience, portability, and increasing availability. Cloud computing has become widely recognized as a means of improving productivity and expanding collaboration in education, while tablet computing has transformed computers as we know them into consumer-friendly, highly portable tools. On the two to three year horizon, games and gamification and mobile learning. Gamification of learning environments is gaining support among educators who recognize that effectively designed games can stimulate large gains in engagement, productivity, creativity, and authentic learning. With mobile learning, learning occurs outside of a classroom supported by the use of a mobile device. As these devices grow more capable and UIs more natural, they'll become increasingly useful tools for learning. And in four to five years to adoption, personalized learning and virtual and remote laboratories. Personalized learning can be designed around a learner's goals, built around a vision of lifelong learning. Virtual and remote laboratories aim to create more authentic learning experiences in online education through web applications that emulate the operation of physical labs and enable students to practice techniques or run common experiences in a safe environment before using the real thing. Download your free copy of the NMC Horizon Report Europe 2014 Schools Edition now at go.nmc.org slash 2014-EU and join the conversation by using the hashtag NMCHC on Twitter.